Hello viewers. In this video, I am going to explain fractional Euler's method in order to solve fractional order ordinary differential equations. So here, this is a book with the title Numerical Methods for Fractional Calculus written by Cheng Pin Li. Now if you open the page number 117 of this book, you can see the fractional forward Euler method given by equations 3.13 and 3.14. Many of my viewers who have worked in the field of numerical fractional calculus are familiar with this very famous method with the name fractional forward Euler method. Today I am going to teach you how to design a MATLAB code for this numerical technique to solve fractional order, ordinary differential equations, linear or non-linear, along with an initial condition under the Caputo operator. So, equations 3.13 and 3.14, I have designed a MATLAB code as now you can see on your screen. So these are the inputs on line number 4. The state size is 1 over 10. The first value of t is 0. The first value of y is 0. So this is our initial condition. The fractional order I have taken as 0 0.1. And the final t value, the integration interval, the final mesh point is 1. Now this is the interval for our independent vari variable t. And then this is showing the total number of iterations. This is the exact solution for the differential equation I have chosen, which you can see on line number 8. So the differential equation that we are given is minus y plus 1 upon gamma 5 minus alpha times t to the power 4 minus alpha. And on, on line number 6, you can see it's exact solution which is t power 4 times mittag leffler function of 2 parameter. So let me also show you in the book the differential equation and its exact solution. So on page number 120, on page number 126, you can see in example number 3 we are given this differential equation under Caputo differential operator with its exact solution where this e subscript alpha comma phi is the two parameter mittag leffler function so we are given this differential equation along with its exact solution so this is what i have mentioned on line number six the exact solution and line number eight the fractional order differential equation now from line number 10 till Line number 14 is what you saw the fractional forward Euler's method given by equations 3.13 and 3.14. I guess let me also confirm it. So it was page number 117, yes, 3.13 and 3.14. This is what the fractional forward Euler's method is. This is one of the famous methods, numerical methods for solving fractional order initial value problems. So this is the method that I have coded in a loop. Now I am interested in finding the absolute errors. So this is what absolute errors, uh, this is how the absolute errors are found on line number 16. And then I am interested in finding what is the last error among all of these errors. So you can see in the book as well on page number, on page number 127, you can see that by choosing different fraction orders and different step sizes, the absolute errors at the final mesh point are given. So let me confirm now through my code. So as you can see here, the fractional order is 0 0.1 and the step size is chosen as 1 upon 10. So I have also taken here step size 1 upon 10 and the fractional order is 0 0.1. So let's run this script and then see its result on the command window which is last error is 4.1205 e to the power 
10 to the power minus 3. So, let me also confirm it from the table 4.1205 10 to the power minus 3. That's correct. Now, arbitrarily I choose, randomly I choose another uh, fraction order. Let's suppose 0 0.7 and the step size I choose as 1 upon, 1 upon 80. So, let me go to my code. The step size is 1 upon 80 and the fraction order is 0 0.7. So, let's run this script again and now you can see its output in the command window now you can see the last error is 5.3731 10 to the power minus 4 so let me confirm it from here 1 upon 80 and 5.3731 10 to the power minus 4 you can similarly confirm rest of the other numbers as well so this is a simple code for the fractional power values method. Now, no matter what kind of differential equation you are given, whether it is linear or nonlinear, you can now simulate any fractional order differential equation along with the condition. So this is how the fractional power values method can be coded in MATLAB. Thank you for watching.